First of all, number one, we're now going to be doing a price discriminating monopoly. A price discriminating monopoly. And they will tell you when it's discriminating versus regular monopoly. A price discriminating a price discriminating monopoly will always have marginal revenue and demand on the same line. That's because the price discriminator, when they lower the price, lowers the price not just for new customers, not just to attract new buyers, but for previous buyers as well. All right, so same, same formula. Find where MC crosses MR. Put a little circle around it. You get in that habit. Always find MR equals MC. Circle it. You know you're going to go down to output. It's a quantity. Then you're going to go try to find ATC. Average total cost. Why is average total cost shaped the way it is? IMR, DMR. So remember IMR, DMR, right? Then you go over to quantity. This is your uh, price, right? But it's not just here. It's going to be this price and that price and that price because they're discriminating. If someone's willing to pay a price way up here, we're going to, we're going to find those people and charge them. If they're going to pay up here, we're going to find them anywhere along this line. So essentially, this entire area that I'm shading in is going to be economic profits. That's so, that's so important to understand that it's different than the marginal revenue line in a typical monopoly. Marginal revenue is less because when you lower price to go find new, uh, new buyers, not only are you lowering the price to find new buyers, but you have to lower the price of those previously existed, uh, existing buyers as well. So here you don't have to do that. So you want to get to MR equals MC above ATC and everything above that. That is where demand equals marginal revenue. That's the price discriminating monopoly. That's it.